Hello and welcome to the quick webinar. My name is Coach Brian and we've titled this How to Create Different Headers on Different Pages in Microsoft Word. And the reason why is we had a meeting this morning where a person was actually talking about their thesis paper and they were having trouble separating headers because their computer or their system had upgraded from Windows 10 to 11 and it was a whole big old discussion. So it's not really related to <laughs> online marketing, but it is related to so many other things, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school writing a thesis or a dissertation, whether you're in the business world somewhere and you're putting together SOPs and policies, this may help you. And to be specific, we're talking about this effect right here. So when you're reading a book and you go from chapter to chapter, you'll notice that as you turn the pages, every once in a while, a new header will pop up. Well, in Microsoft Word, you can do that. So let's start with step one. Let's go ahead and open up a Word document and add our first header. Okay, and the way we do that is we come up here and we can either double click at the top of the document and that header option will pop up. Or you can come up to insert and go to header over here. And we'll just click a blank one. So our header is going to be chapter one. How about this? Look at that. Coach Brian is a click off center. This happens to be something I hear at my house. People talking about me all the time. Boom. So then I just double click in the body area and that will unselect that. Now that that's done, let's go to step two, which is going to be insert a section break. And for this click path, we're going to go to the layout tab, breaks, then section breaks, and then next page. And I wanted to highlight that because I know that depending on the defaults of your software, you might be seeing different things. So if you do have to go some searching or your screen doesn't look exactly like what we're about to see, Understand that that happens, and this is what you're going to want to look for. Okay, so then I come back to this main page. Remember that click path. I'm going to go to layout, breaks. Now pay attention to the pictures as well as the words. Sometimes you won't see the words, and that just depends on the window size that you are working from. But we're going to click on breaks. We're going to skip all this jazz, come down here to next page. Boom. Magic. And if we double click here, we're going to see that we have a section two. And it's labeled as same as previous. And up here we have header section one. We also have our footer sections, but we're not going to mess with that today. So let's go see what our next step is. Okay, the next thing we're going to look for is the header and footer tools. Because what we want to do is unlink the section two header from the section one header that we just put in. All right, so now we were looking for a header and footer tools. Now we got lucky when we inserted the break earlier, it automatically directed us to a header and footer tab with the link to previous button. Now you'll see it's by default already highlighted. So what we want to do is unclick that. And now we have done what that step said, and we're told to unlink to previous. Double click in the body, and you're good to go. Let's say you weren't automatically redirected to the header and footer tools. What you can do is scroll down to the header that you're trying to edit, double click in the header box, and hopefully it will bring you to the tools. And again, here, sometimes the words will show up, sometimes they won't. So make sure you're looking for this little, looks like a little piece of paper with a left arrow on the top part of the icon. That's linked to previous. If it's at the bottom part, you're talking to previous and the next functions. So that is what you're going to want to be clicking on. Now we've automatically been pushed down to that second page. So let's go and see what our next step is. And step four is going to be to edit the new header. Let's change it to something else. I am on the second section. Hopefully, double click and verify. Yes, I am. Let's go ahead and change this. Chapter two Coach Brian 
loves coffee. Boom. Double click in the body. Now when I scroll back up to the top, it should still have that chapter one heading. And it does. Step five is to verify the result. Save the document, close it, open it back up, make sure that it took. All we did was close out the document. Now we're gonna come back, open it back up. That's where we were. Chapter two should say chapter one and we are good to go. And as we have more of these questions come up that aren't really marketing related, but are workday related, we'll go ahead and put up a tutorial as soon as we get the time to do so. Take care.